What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, everybody knows that the N54 335i tends to be a little bit of a maintenance, I don't want to say nightmare, but they require a little bit of work from time to time and the injectors are one of those sources of problems. Knowing that to be the case, failing injectors might not always be the most obvious thing to diagnose. I want to go over just a couple of symptoms that you might notice um, that could help you narrow in on uh, failing injectors being the issue. Now there are several symptoms that might occur or might, oh man with the leaf blower. Anyway, there are a couple of symptoms or several symptoms that could lead you to believe you have failing injectors. So I want to go over a few of, few of those uh, today, but also uh, there are a few things that could be occurring that give you the same or similar symptoms to failing injectors. So I'm going to try to help decipher a couple of those as well. Now, right off the bat, a rough idle could be a sign of a failing injector. That could be a sign of a number of things, but now you don't really necessarily notice it in the RPM. Uh, you can see this one going up and down, but it is a cold start. Um, but you can certainly feel it and hear it. And I don't know if it's obvious here. It's not so bad, but I can feel it kind of in the seat of my pants, I guess you would say. A little bit of a rough, rough idle. Knowing that I replace spark plugs and coil packs, I can kind of, you know, knock those off the list and it starts to point me more toward uh, injectors being the issue. It might not be bad enough to where it actually throws a check engine light, but in some cases it will. And in that case, you can obviously scan, um, you know, the, you know, plug into the OBD port, whether you have a Pro Tool or MHD or whatever you might be using uh, to connect to your car to read codes. Uh, it might throw a misfire from multiple cylinders or cylinders one or cylinders one and three, for example. Uh, it could be any given combination. And again, you might have to kind of do process of elimination. Again, in my case, changing out coil packs and spark plugs. I'm, I'm leaning away from those. They're all brand new. They're gapped properly. It shouldn't be spark plugs or coil packs causing the misfire. So again, uh, we're going to lean toward uh, fuel injectors, especially considering the fact that these are the original Index 1 fuel injectors from 2007, actually late 2006. Now, along the lines of a rough idle, you might actually get kind of a noisy ticking noise. Now, direct injection systems uh, are often noisy anyway, just by their nature, uh, but you might get kind of a, an extra loud tick coming from the fuel rail. Just be regular, this might just be regular engine noise on the N54. I'm still learning myself, but it seems to have a little additional tick. And reading the codes myself, I'm getting a cylinder three misfire. And again, knowing that my coil packs and spark plugs are new, um, my ear goes right to the number three cylinder. Now we know ticking, a ticking noise coming from the engine can be caused by a couple of different things. Uh, we know that these direct injection engines often have a ticking noise, it can be quite annoying. We can be hearing valve tap and a couple of other different things, uh, but one way to kind of distinguish or determine that uh, the ticking is due to a failing injector or failing injectors, that it might not be necessarily directly related to throttle position. Often uh, with that tapping noise, or if that tapping or ticking noise is coming from the engine itself, when you rev the engine, that ticking will increase, right? It could be uh, at idle, just be a t -t 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 -t. but as you rev, it could go to a, you know, that's not a good sign necessarily. Now, if you're only hearing that ticking noise at cold start or at idle or early stages, you know, before the car gets fully warmed up, um, but it's not necessarily there as you accelerate or if you rev the engine, that's a good sign that it's an injector rather than that valve tap or lifter tick. Another thing you'll want to pay attention to or look for is... showing it here but it's probably because I ran the car a little bit last night um, so it's not doing it but some white smoke coming from the exhaust pipes 
generally at cold start or you know early stages of the warm-up period uh, that could be a sign of injector failure or uh, malfunction the reason for that is because if a car sits for a long period of time overnight or over a weekend or over a week while you're on vacation or uh, you know out of town uh, for business or whatever the case may be those injectors could be dripping fuel into the cylinders when you fire the car up after it's sat for a long period of time if especially if there's a bunch of unburnt fuel in there uh, you know the plugs just can't keep up with it it's too much fuel it's essentially fouling the plugs uh, causing that white smoke which is kind of excess uh, the excess uh, fuel you know trying to be burned off uh, making its way out the exhaust pipe so uh, if that goes away once the car is warmed up or once you drive it for a little while uh, that could be a sign that the injectors are failing now everyone's mind seems to go to uh, you know failing turbo seals or your turbos are going out if you have smoke coming out your exhaust pipes but it's not always the case it's not always that dire of a situation you may have heard a couple of little pops coming from the exhaust uh, while it was idling that's similar to a kind of your burble tune right your pops and bangs uh, it's essentially a fuel dump so that's leading me to believe that I have um, cylinders that are filling up with fuel and that unburnt fuel is making its way into the exhaust kind of causing it to pop a little bit here and there it could be uh, uh, you know the misfire that I'm getting as well but that could be attributed to the failing injector so it's I'm leaning towards at least a malfunctioning injector if not all of them failing or malfunctioning so although it is not it's not cheap by any means to replace fuel injectors it could be five hundred dollars six hundred dollars for remanufactured twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars for brand new index 12 injectors they're not very labor intensive if you have any mechanical aptitude whatsoever you can do this uh, task on your own uh, with that being said it is much cheaper and much simpler to change out injectors than to replace failing turbos so uh, with that in mind however uh, failing injectors can lead to more serious engine issues as I said before, a failing injector could potentially be leaking fuel down into your cylinders. It could be one cylinder, it could be multiple or all of them if all of your uh, injectors are bad. So uh, that could be where uh, the problem uh, begins. That in and of itself is an issue. Uh, but if the car sits for long periods of time, that fuel can actually work its way past the piston rings and get into the engine oil itself. That might not seem like such a big deal. You might not necessarily notice it because your uh, fuel or your sorry your oil level is completely full um, but once that fuel makes its way into the oil it it's protective and lubricating qualities are compromised it's not it doesn't lubricate as well it's breaking that oil down because you're putting gasoline into the oil uh, so when you drive the car on this diluted and broken down engine oil it can cause issues with your engine unfortunately potentially leading to spun bearings which is not good I can't remember if I mentioned it or not but you could pull your spark plugs if they're all black and gross looking there's that's that's a good sign that your injectors are failing if they smell like gasoline that's a sign that they're being fouled out and flooded with fuel um, another way to test this to see if your oil is being contaminated by gasoline is to uh, open it up open this guy up here and stick your nose in it smell it uh, and if it smells like a fuel tank if it smells like the gas can you use to fill your lawnmower that's a pretty good sign that gasoline is working its way past the rings and getting into your engine oil no bueno so I would say you need to immediately change your injectors if not sooner uh, but as you're doing that or while you do that make sure you change your engine oil as well in summary when you are trying to diagnose failing injectors it is very very important to uh, kind of go through the process of elimination and put two and two together if you know what I mean because many of the symptoms that we talked about could be attributed to multiple things that's why I say it's important to kind of put two and two together uh, so you can kind of put together a complete picture to kind of figure out what is going on you might have a you might have trouble uh, on a cold start after the car sits for a while you might have a rough idle uh, early on uh, you might have some white smoke coming from the tailpipes was not necessarily failing uh, turbos uh, you know different color smokes tell you different things as well you don't want blue smoke you don't want black smoke uh, white smoke that comes on a cold start but gradually goes away uh, and it doesn't exist while the car is warm there's a good chance that that is failing injectors 
As I mentioned, rough idle is, of course, a symptom, but that could be attributed to spark plugs and coil packs. It could also be contributed to uh, carbon buildup uh, on your intake valves. Um, so again, if you change your coil packs and your spark plugs, you know that those are probably not necessarily the issue. Uh, if you have recently had a walnut blasting uh, done, uh, carbon buildup is probably not necessarily the issue. Uh, so you kind of can lean toward uh, injector failure. Uh, speaking of spark plugs, uh, go ahead and pull them out. If they're all black, you know, on the threads and all messed up, if they smell like gasoline, uh, there's a good chance you have a failing injector or inject doors. Uh, if you open up the uh, oil fill cap and stick your nose in there and smell it and it smells like a, a fuel tank, there's a good chance you have oil uh, contaminated with fuel. Uh, again, if you have unusual ticking or tapping noise coming from the engine. Uh, that could be, again, attributed to a number of things. It could be valve tap or lifter tick, uh, which could be solved with just a simple oil change or using a better oil, uh, but it also could be attributed to failing injectors uh, because we know that a bad injector can make a ticking noise from time to time. And a way to think about that too is if that ticking only occurs on cold start or while the car is idling, but it goes away as you increase the throttle or you warm the car up, it could be injector related. Because generally we know that that valve tap or lifter tick is going to increase as the RPM increases in your engine, uh, but it may not be the case uh, with the injectors as you force that fuel uh, through the injector into the engine, it might eliminate that ticking noise. So again, putting two and two together. Now, if you are like me and you find yourself in this situation trying to diagnose failing injectors, go through these steps. It'll be really, really helpful and help you kind of paint a complete picture of what's going on with the vehicle. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Now I have injectors on the way, so we should be able to uh, resolve all of our uh, misfire and rough idle issues that we have going on. And I plan on doing a walnut blasting here pretty soon too. So we'll get rid of all that uh, carbon buildup, um, which can attribute to that uh, rough idle and misfires and all of that. Uh, nonsense as well. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get to them as best that I can and give any insight or input that I might be able to help you with. Um, but hopefully, like I said, this was somewhat helpful for you. I appreciate all of the support. I appreciate you watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, again, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.